Now, let's get to Japan. <laughs> Space news from Japan. And Philip Jackson, our friend in Kyoto, uh, which is always best pronounced, I always think, if you try and do it in a, a Newcastle accent, you know, Kyoto. Uh, so let's get to Philip Jackson. Philip, how are you? Testing. Good morning, Howard. I'm, I'm, good morning, Howard. I'm good, thanks. Out in the park. <laughs> good morning. Out in the park again. <laughs> Philip always does these, um, we haven't done one of these for months, one of these contributions out in the park in Kyoto. Um Let's let's start with this because we haven't got a ton of time, Philip. And thank you for doing this. Um, Japan is getting into the space race. It's uh, got you know its uh, sights on the moon, but on Friday it had to abort the launch of its first medium lift rocket, uh, and this this was a great disappointment. This is the H three. How was that reported there? What happened? Um, well, basically the the um, as you say the H three rocket is a new rocket. It's a satellite carrying rocket. And it's a project between the Japanese Space Agency and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. Um, and unfortunately, the launch on Friday failed at the last minute. Uh, the official statement from the Space Agency was that an anomaly in the first stage system and in ignition signals for the rocket boosters were not sent. Um, uh, so unfortunately, right at the last minute, they had the countdown and then they aborted right at the last seconds, really. And they're hoping to get a new launch date during March. So it should be coming around soon. Um, but I, I think the whole situation with the Japanese Space Agency is, is quite interesting at the moment because although the H3 rocket is new and it's making the news because it's the first to use what's called a, an expander bleed cycle, which basically allows a higher engine thrust, um, this rocket is, in a lot of ways, it's just a stepping stone. Uh, and the ultimate aim is to be launching reusable rockets, and they plan to be doing that by 2030. Um, I mean, the cost of a H3 rocket launch is about 50 million US dollars. So if they can tie together the the new expander bleed cycle technology with the launch savings of, of reusable rockets, then it becomes a much much more viable project for the private sector. Uh, and is this a rocket for deploying satellites or for going to the moon? Uh, it's for satellites. So the, the satellite that they were supposed to be taking up last week um, was uh, it was called the a- ALOS, uh, which is an observational satellite which would take images of the ground. And the aim was to use that for um, uh, natural disaster emergencies, you know, uh, helping in those situations. Right. And it didn't get a lot of coverage. I just thought it was interesting to just point out to people that Japan has a space program. It is burgeoning and developing, and all space programs have setbacks. This was one of them. Now, Philip, if you can hang on there in the park in in Kyoto, how's the weather there, by the way? A a little bit of rain, actually. Okay. If you can hang hang on there, and this is the great flexibility of being back on the radio, uh, we can hold you over while the news happens at 11 p.m., and we'll talk about one other story,